a documentary about four babies being born in four different places in the world and it follows them through about the first year or so of their lives. You have one in San Francisco, one in Tokyo, one in Mongolia, and one in Namibia. And the Mongolian child Nigeria. is the only boy. No, 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 it's Namibia. There's a difference? I swear no. to God. No, I thought it was Nigeria. No. Really? Mm -mm. Mm, okay. Look it up, you got your little MacBook there. Look All right, it up. I'll look it up. All right. All right. Don't question <laughs> me in public like that. Oh, um, I no. Was, I was sure, that means I went on uh, CNN and got it uh, completely wrong. But no one watches that, so it's okay, but everyone watches <laughs> this. So let's get this right here, shall we? Um, no, it's, um, and it's beautifully shot, and it sort of follows them around as they develop. And there is no narration, and there are no subtitles. You just watch them do cute stuff. So here you go. All right, now I watched that about four times. Uh, a couple things I get out of it. It's Namibia. Um, <laughs> and, Those of you playing at home, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't have uh, I couldn't have gotten that uh, uh, more wrong. And that scene you saw uh, at the beginning, where the the one kid uh, sort of pushes the the other kid and he starts crying. Uh, that's how the movie opened. Uh, and right off the bat, I swear to God, I thought the Chiron said. Uh, Nigeria, because I wrote in my notes, nope. the movie opens in Nigeria. It's Namibia. Nope. Yeah. Nope. yeah. There well. you go. There's All right. You. So, look, I'm, I'm very curious to see how people with babies and without babies react to this uh, movie. Yeah. And, well, you're going to get without baby, with baby, and expecting About baby. About to have a baby. Yeah. Have so we got the whole range yeah. here. We got Cycle the whole of range. life, man. All right. Let's start with babies. All right. So I had a little boy six months ago. I reacted to this far more emotionally than I ever would have prior to having him. Because before I had a kid, before I started trying having a kid, I did not care about babies. I mean, they're cute, whatever, but didn't really have like an emotional tug. <laughs> and, whatever. Uh, and uh, now I'm, I love this thing. Like, it's beautiful. And uh, I got a little bit choked up. I got a little bit teary eyed. There's a scene where the, the woman in San Francisco is cuddling with her little girl in bed, and they're just sort of looking at each other. And I don't know, it's just sweet and quiet and intimate. But beyond that, it is shot so beautifully. I mean, they shot like 400 hours of footage, and it's incredibly intimate stuff. Everything from like dark, quiet moments of a mother alone with her child to these vast landscapes in Mongolia. And, uh, you know, not a lot happens. It's kind of languid, it kind of meanders, but it got to me, yeah. Magwitz. Without the baby. Yes. <laughs> um, I didn't understand it. Who were the little kids? Like, what were their roles? What were they doing? Um, uh, I liked that they allowed the adults to, to speak uh, without translation. Like, that it didn't sort of matter what they were saying, but you did get the sense they were mothers and they were saying motherly things, whether it was in the Namibian <laughs> or Mongolian and then, or, 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 or Japanese, and then you could obviously understand the... Uh, San Franciscan, although she was my least favorite mother by far. Really? Um, Why is that? Oh, because they were incredibly self-indulgent, and I just don't mean because they had everything, because the, the, the Japanese mother had just as much stuff, but she didn't strike me as remotely uh, self-indulgent. Um, uh, I, I thought many of the same things. I still thought it was uh, fairly emotional, and, and although these, some of these things are incredibly obvious, I thought the contrast was still nice that you see the Japanese kid and the American kid uh, playing with n nearly everything, giving things that, that you give your son as I would give my child, as you'll give your child, as anybody with the means would of every possible rattle toys just to fascinate them. And the kid in Namibia plays in the dirt. With a stick. With a stick. Drinking totally unsanitary water off the ground. Like you could hear all the moms in the crowd going, no, don't do it. Right, but, but, but they're happy. There's no, and there's yeah. probably no well. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All right. I, I was split on this because uh, on the one hand, I liked all the things that you guys liked. And it, I'll elaborate further on it because it's fascinating to see how, I know it's a little cliched, but it's great to see it, how different we are and how similar we are. Right. Right. So you see incredible differences in how 
uh, you know, kids grow up in Namibia and, and Tokyo, for example, right? In Namibia, I mean, they just, they're literally picking up dirt and putting it in their mouth. And a mom's casual as can be, no problems whatsoever. And the kid's fine, right. okay? And it shows we don't have to panic, okay? So, and I loved seeing that. And then, of course, in the end, they're all babies. And if you have the same exact reaction, and, and it's human reaction, it's great, okay? I love that stuff. The other half, I'm just, it was too boring. I'm sorry, I'm the bad guy, I gotta say. <laughs> It was, there was no dialogue, right? I, you right. guys picked up little, you know, snippets here and there of self-indulgence and this and that. But, you know, it's just, it goes on. You, you said they shot 400 hours. I know it's 79 minutes, but it felt like they used all 400 hours. <laughs> right. It is, it is sort of a bold kind of structural choice to make to not have any kind of narration. I mean, there's not a whole lot of structure to it. Having said that, I mean, you get the universality of it pretty quickly. I mean, yeah. you, you can get immersed yeah. pretty quickly. I no, no, I, and I was, I mean, I was, I was done after 79 minutes. I mean, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. all right, I mean, I, you know, I, I did, you know, I was like, all right, let's, I got it. They're all going to turn one. And the thing, I mean, you're right. These points are obvious. Like, oh, right, the universality. Like, yeah, we're all the same, yet we're so shockingly different. But I, I just think it's important. It, it's amazing to see it. And, of course, you're right. We shouldn't, you know, look, everybody turns out fine, except, of course, you know, it's way better if you get sort of, you know, if you get, uh, uh, you know, formula that has sort of the proper nutrients and vitamins. And, and or breast milk. Right. Well, and the I breast milk right. is actually better, but, uh, but Depending yeah. Depending on who you ask. No, and you <laughs> see, Wait till you have your kid. Well. No, but I mean, you see in Mongolia, which was for, by the way, there's a, a little Mongolian hut, which is part of a village, and in and, and Namibia, it's part of nothing. It's part of right. dirt. Um, and in Mongolia, there's a giant satellite dish to serve these six huts. Uh, but also, they got a doctor to come. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I suspect that in Namibia, there's no doctor. And, but everybody would like the doctor, and that would be nice. And obviously, that is, makes it more likely that that kid would grow up sort of healthy, wealthy, and wise. No, no, I, I look, I love that perspective. And, and so that I, since I liked the idea behind the movie so much, since I liked seeing those different parts so much, I loved Mongolia. It made me want to go to Mongolia. Yeah. And it's a very <laughs> simple life. Okay, very simple. You know, they live literally in a tent in a yurt. Okay, but uh, but it, it looked like they had everything there, and you know, and like you guys said, they entertain themselves, etc. Look, uh, every time I wanted to give it a higher score, I'm thinking about it in my head as I'm watching the movie. Right, uh, I doze off, and I wanted to give it a lower score, and I like, okay, okay, I'd be like six, six, no five, like, uh, no four, four, <laughs> and then finally I I gave it a. 4.1. I wanted to wow. give it a 4, but I gave it a 0.1 for extra cuteness. Seriously, 4.1, despite yeah. the cinematography, because it's gorgeous. It's it gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Here's what they should have done, okay. and, it, and I would have given it a 9.8. Made it 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, if they made you it a 15... You can't get a nap in at 15 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes. I'll go 20 minutes. Five minutes of baby. All right, yeah. exactly. Now, look, if you get it on Netflix which sponsors the show, I'm just keeping it real, okay, way. later, okay, and you fast forward, you'll love it. <laughs> okay. All of a sudden, like, they're crawling. <laughs> Where did they get that? Where did that come from? I'm curious to see, though, if after you have your child, if you were to, like, revisit this again, I really am curious to see if your number goes up. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm curious about that, too. And, look, uh, I went with my pregnant wife. And, Did you uh, like it? Oh, she loved it, yeah. of course. She's crying. And then it's we, the hormones. Yeah, and we yeah. came out, and there was, like, three or four pregnant uh, women in the, in the audience. And there was, like, seven people in there. That's nice. Right? So, I mean, we get, we get it. But, look, I, I want you to see the movie because it's such a great perspective. But I just, in good conscience, can't tell you that you're not going to get bored because so I think you are. So just why I want to understand you. See the movie. <laughs> but it's a four. Yeah, yeah see the movie 4. and get prepared. Right. Four point one. Uh, get prepared to get bored. That's all. All right. Okay. I, I give it seven point five. Okay. Well, all I right. think it's beautiful and it's worth seeing. Again, I'm biased. There you go. You. I don't think that's uh, necessarily biased. I liked it. I like it uh, less the more time I get away from it, but it leaves a sort of emotional impact. Uh, the moment you see it. I have this feeling that four months from now, somebody will ask, oh, I just saw Babies on Netflix. And I'll say, oh, I never saw that. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh. um, but that's a guess. I gave it a 6.5. I liked it. I think it has an emotional impact. And though some of the things are obvious, I think it, it matters to see them and to see them visually. And I think it's, it is beautiful. And I think it's remarkable that they narrowed all this footage, 4,000 hours down to, and must have been, I suspect, more than four 
babies, I'm guessing. Yeah, they, they hooked up with parents when they still were pregnant. Yeah. And they had a couple different parents in each place. Uh. And then the more they spent time with these four, they found that those stories were the most compelling and they focused in on those. So yeah, it was, it was several years in the making of yeah. like tracking those folks down Three and years, getting them yeah. to agree to open up their homes and their lives like this. So, yeah. All right, so the final average is about a six uh, and I'm the bad guy and I feel bad for giving it a bad rating. I'm just trying to keep it real. Okay.